in this issue of Basic Kayak Setup, we're going to talk about paddles. And I want to make sure you do not make the $100 mistake I made when I bought this paddle. Stay tuned. Regardless of whether you have a paddle or a pedal kayak, you're going to need a paddle. And there's math that goes into how to pick the right size paddle based on the width of your kayak and your height and your, and your paddle stroke. So let me show you some tables and we'll talk through that right now. Then I'll get to the $100 mistake that I made. Here's the summary and the bottom line. You can get more information at the links below because that's where I extracted the couple figures I'm about to show you. There are a couple ways to determine paddle height, but the simplest is probably just to look at your personal height and the width of your boat. And it ends up being a pretty simple choice. Just get a big paddle. You can see that most fishing kayaks are going to be above 28 inches wide, and that means you need a 230 or 240 centimeter paddle. But there's some other ways to figure this out as well, and I recommend you go to the paddling.com link that I have below. Finally, it does make a difference on whether you use a low angle stroke or a high angle stroke. Make sure you're picking the paddle blade appropriate for that stroke. Now that you figured out what size paddle you need based on you and the boat, you got to figure out how much you really want to spend on it. Well, here's where I made my $100 mistake. I bought this paddle and I think it cost 150 bucks when I bought my Jackson Cusa FD, a pedal kayak. And over the last three years, as I've thought back over it, all I've basically used this pedal for is to push myself off the shore and to unplug myself when I get hung up on an oyster bed. So clearly, this paddle was a waste of money for that application. I didn't need something really light. Uh, it, it was just a disaster. So if you've got a pedal kayak, just buy the cheapest paddle you can find. It'll do fine and you'll rarely use it. But now, with this kayak, this paddle is going to be the right choice for me because I typically will go out and do at least two, three mile paddles to get to the fishing locations. So having a lightweight paddle is going to be an advantage. So if you have a paddle kayak, it's hard to say pedal and paddle in the same breath, if you have a paddle kayak, you need to think about that and then balance the cost versus the duration and length of your trip when you pick the weight of the paddle and the construction of the paddle, which is going to drive how much you're going to pay for it. So if I had to do it all over again, I would not have bought this paddle with my pedal kayak. But now that I've got it, I'm happy I've got it with my paddle kayak. What do you guys think? Do you agree with the math on paddle size? Throw your comments down below. Thanks.